This is your sports boys. And today we'll be doing an NBA mock draft. And over on the right hand side, we've got our notes for who we think is getting drafted. And then on the left hand side, we're going to be using a website and actually drafting them to the team. Oh, yeah. So, with the first pick, we got to take Scoot Henderson. Oh, wait. Victor, Victor Wembenyama, obviously. If that isn't already obvious enough. Yep, 7'5", 220 pounds. I think he's going to be quite a solid player for the Spurs. It's this. All right. Then yeah. I think Scoot's going second. I, for sure, I think so. He's going to the Hornets. That's what I believe anyways. 6'2", and 195. Point guard. Played for the G League. Then we got... With the third pick, we got Brandon Miller going to the Portland Trailblazers. Yep. Small forward, 6'8". 200 pounds. All right, and then we got Ammon Thompson going to the Rockets. Oh, yep. Which I think he's going to be really good. He's tall, flashy passer. A lot of athleticism. Six, seven, 199 I think his brother's going to be good, too. Yeah. And then Next we got pick. Jairus Walker at five. That's mm-hmm. debatable. I think we do have it, Jairus Walker at five on our notes, but I think we should put him at six and draft Cam Whitmore. All right. That's what I think. I like that. Let's go Cam Whitmore. At five. That's a good... I like his picture on there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Six seven two thirty pounds. Thirty two thirty two. And so. then, then we'll go Jarris Walker, Walker to the Orlando Magic. Yeah. And then right after that, you know we gotta go with the other Thompson twin. Um, Jarris Walker is six seven. 233 pounds, and he's 19 years old. That's crazy. As All you right. guys can see. <laughs> yep. Next, we'll go Azure Thompson. Um, I'm not totally sure how you say his name. But that's how it looks like it. That's just how we're going to say it. So, <laughs> draft to the oh, Pacers. Pacers. Yeah. <laughs> I was confused there for a second. Um, Shooting guard. Kind of the same as his brother, flashy, passer, athleticism. Same height, I think, right? Uh, Yeah, I think so. 6'7", 204 pounds. All right, and then we have the Washington Wizards. So, I don't know. I think it might be Anthony <laughs> Black, but in my thing, I have it being Taylor Hendricks because I kind of want Anthony Black to fall to the Jazz. <laughs> yeah. But really, I would probably put him at eight. So but for that reason, eight. we're going to do Taylor Hendricks. Just because I want Anthony Black to go to the Jazz. No, I'm just kidding. That wouldn't be realistic. Anthony, Anthony Black, Black goes eight to the Wizards. Yes. Six, seven, hundred wow. and five pounds. What's with all these shooting guards being so tall in this draft? You have to be that tall to make it in the NBA any, anymore. Oh, yeah. And then the we next, got Taylor, Taylor Hendricks, Hendricks, obviously. To the Jazz. That's a good, solid pick for the Jazz. Oh, yeah. Nice. 6'9", 210 pounds. Yep. 19-year-old. It's pretty good. Oh, and then we, we got, got the this, Mavericks. This, this is where it changes. We got Keontae George is where we have it on our notes. But this is debatable. Yeah. We could definitely change that, but Kante George is pretty good. Mm. I think we could, it would go Grady Dick. Yeah. I don't know. I think we got to get Grady Dick. I mean, I have him going the next pick, so we'll we'll move him to this pick. 6-7, wow. Why is everyone so freaking tall in the... And, well, they will be in the NBA when they get drafted, but in this draft class. 
And then mm-hmm. at 12, I think we keep it. Go Kobe Buffkin. They probably not a big fan of him on this one. <clears throat> but I think he's really good. Uh, but this could also be debatable, too. Yeah, it could be debatable with Casey Wallace. But too. since this is still our mock, I think we go Kobe Buffkin. Yeah, I go Kobe. Because we're not just going to steal what their thing says. No. Because it's the Your Sports Boys mock. Yeah, yeah. And then 13th, we have Nick Smith Jr. But I'm not actually sure about this pick. Yeah. I don't know how good Nick Smith really is. Yeah. I don't think he's good, really. Um. But he's 13th on here. I would go so, with Kaysen Wallace, because he's right no. after. No. No? What? No. <clears throat> I like it. Nick Smith to the Thunder to give them, I don't know, <clears throat> just another solid point guard who can mm-hmm. shoot. Because they definitely need someone who can shoot on their team. Huh. Huh. For sure. All right. And then... Yeah. We got the Raptors. I don't see them taking anyone short. So, I'm thinking they go Derek Lively. They always take tall people. Yeah. But, also... On your notes, you do have them taking Case and Wallace. I do. Which, actually, is probably the smart move, because... The thing about that is, Fred Van Fleet could leave their team. Yeah. So, just as a backup... Not like I think Casey Wallace is going to go in there and be a starting point guard, but just in case. Yeah. So I think we take Casey Wallace 14th, 13th, I guess. 13th, yeah. <laughs> we kind of have this all mixed up, but... Oh, and I forgot to point out. So Brandon Miller, he's going to be traded with Brandon Ingram. And so... He's going to the Pelicans. Yes. And now for the 14th pick, right? Because that was the 13th. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It will probably be... um, I don't know. Probably... Do you think it would be Derek? I think they would go Derek... Lively? What do you think? Um, they could really use some center depth, so they'd probably take him, yeah. Yeah, alright. I don't hate that pick. Not what it says on our notes, but also it can change. 72, 215 pounds. And then we got, I think we take Jalen Hood here. Ooh, but they have Trey Young. Which I don't think they would take Jalen. <clears throat> yeah, but they'd also probably, they could they could use some Jordan. depth too. They're probably gonna take Jordan Hawkins or they're kind of the same person. Jet Howard or Keontae George. Keontae George. That's probably what they're gonna take. Cause Bogdan isn't he's good, but he's not great. Yeah, they could probably use him. I don't know. I would go Keontae here, or a shooting guard, but I don't know. Let's say they take, I don't know, I... I'm thinking they take Keontae. He's a decent player. We did have him at 10. Yeah, he's a good player. I know he's good. So let's say they take 10. All right. Or count it, I mean. There you go. Six, All right. Four, two, there we have it. Two, 20. Drafted the 15th pick. Now we got the 16th pick, which yes. is the Utah Jazz. And uh, you Jaylen. don't. Okay. You guys are not going to like this pick, but I actually would want them to get Gigi Jackson. I. I don't really know why, think, but there's just lots of good talk about it. I don't even know where he is on this list. I think he's going to fall to next 
like we could get him next round with the Jazz because I don't think anybody's going to draft him. Yeah. So I think we I don't know. I've just heard lots of good things about Jalen. Since Jalen's fell this far in our mock draft, I think Jazz would pick him up. I don't know. Maybe because we could use a point guard. Yeah. Because we don't really have a point guard on the team. Well, we don't. Yeah. So that'd be huge if he falls out. Deep. Yeah. So I think the Jazz would personally take him if he fell out. Yeah, because yeah. they really do need a point guard. I kind of agree with him on this one. Wait, six, Another five? freshman, I think they got Taylor Hendricks. So oh, yeah. They got two freshmen in this draft. 19-year-olds. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we got the Lakers. Ooh, this is going to be hard. The Lakers. I mean, They're good. They are. They're a really good team. I don't... They could use a shooting guard. Or power forward. Yeah. They got Malik, but... Is there any... Malik Beasley's been terrible. There's so many good shooting guards on the board. Let's right go now. back to and look at our notes real quick. Let's see. This is the... What pick is it? Seventeenth mm. pick. Yeah. We got Jet Howard. Mm. That's a shooting guard. That is a shooting guard. All right. Since our notes happen to say that, was taken. But they also have Jordan Hawkins here. Yeah, he is still here. It's hard. I don't know. But where was he? Oh, Jordan Hawkins. Yeah. Let's go with Jet. Jet. Yeah, Jet. I think Six, that's eight, a good pick for them. Pounds. All right, now we got the 18th pick. With the 18th mm-hmm. pick in the 2023 NBA draft, the, the Miami, Miami Heat, Heat select. select. Not actually sure, but um, that was cool. <laughs> yeah. I think they'll go in and get. Where's, a, they need a point guard. They do need a point guard, which. I don't see them jumping down the board that far to a point guard, but... Yeah, if we just go to point guards. It'd be... Yeah, they missed out on their point guard here. Unless yeah. they trade up in the draft to get a point guard. But maybe they just take Jordan Hawkins, using him as maybe sliding Tyler Hero to uh, point guard. and Yeah. You know, doing a little bit of sliding. So let's say Jordan Hawkins gets selected yeah. here. That's just my thoughts behind it. Yeah, same here. And now we got the ninth, and then we got nineteenth pick. Warriors. We got the Warriors. They're pretty stacked, but they are. you can see that they're starting to lose. Like Draymond Green, yeah. he's gonna be yeah. leaving. I think we gotta get a shooting guard or power forward because Jordan Poole is only good when there's somebody like a girl around him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Which makes it interesting. Yeah. So he's not consistent, basically. Yeah. And then, but also we need to replace Draymond. So yeah. So here's what I see them doing here. Noah Clowney. So I could either see Noah Clowney or I could see them going down. Balil, that's the only part of the name I'm gonna say. Balil, he played with Victor Wembanyama, mm-hmm. and he was shining. He's doing good, even with Victor there. But I think they'd go Noah. I don't know. I mean, he is a power forward, which is nice. I think they would replace Draymond with Noah. That's what I'm saying. Belial's like a lot more talented, I think, as far as like I don't know, like catch and shoot, like shooting and like. But I bet Noah Clowney's defense is probably better. I just don't think that because they have so much good shooters. Yeah. That they don't need a shooter. Yeah, but Belial's like a defense-minded player, too. Yeah, I would... If I was the Warriors and no clown is here, I would take him. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. We have on the 19th pick, we have Jordan Hawkins, which he happens to already be selected by us. Or, or, I just thought of something. I thought of Chris Murray. Chris? Keegan Murray is his brother, and he is a really good shooter, and he's a power forward. Yeah. 
and we have him going 18th, and this is 19th, and he hasn't got selected. They, yeah. They're hating him on this list, but I think they take him because he's a power forward, which... Yeah. But he's still probably a shooter, or he is a shooter because... Yeah, I think that's a good pick. Yeah. I kind of forgot about him, but then I was like, ooh, that'd actually be a good player for the Warriors. Alright. I'd be surprised if half of the, these picks we're saying actually happened, mm-hmm. yeah. but here's our take on it. <laughs> yeah. And then the we got... The pick with the Rockets? Um, oh. We have Leonard Miller. We do have Leonard Miller. He's clear down there. But maybe the Rockets go for a, maybe a Belial type yeah. dude. I feel like they don't. They got just Sean, just Sean Tate. I don't know if that's how you say it. Yeah. But they have him at small forward, but he's he's not that good, and he's not think, he's not very tall. Yeah, I think they go Belial. I agree. All right, Belial to the Rockets. Six seven unknown weight. Yep. <laughs> they forgot to weigh him. Oh yeah. All right, and then we got the Brooklyn Nets. With the twenty one pick. Um could use a shooting guard. We could. And there is Ryan Rupert still here. But there also is I guess there's not really Yeah, I think they take a shooting, shooting guard right here. Ryan. I think they go Ryan or whatever. I would like to see Tariq Whitehead too, but since he happens to just be right here and Yeah. He's a fairly good player. We'll I, go we'll go him. Yeah. That's what I have. Alright. That was supposed to be Noah Clownley, and since he's still here, we could take him. Yeah. Cause wait. It's the Nets again, I guess. Oh. <laughs> That's quite interesting. So we could still get them. Noah Clownley. Oh, yeah. They don't really... I mean, they have... Um, I'm actually not sure what his name is. I know what it is, but I can't remember. It's Cameron something. Mm-hmm. They have him at power forward, but... I think they would... Noah Clownley. They could take someone else, too, over yeah, him. Yeah, I would go with Noah Clownley, or... Yeah, I would go with... Or Noah James Naji maybe, a center. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think they got Nick Claxton, but that's the only center they have. They could use some center depth. Yeah. Or just a Noah Clownley. I think they're going to change everybody's mind and go with James. Yeah. I kind of I like James Najee. Yeah. All right. Let's go with that. I can't, I can't see Noah Clownley falling this far, but... I don't know. I just haven't found the right team for mm. him yet. And this actually could be a team. I mean, they do have Nurkic, but... Yeah. Besides that, they don't really have another center. Yeah. But yeah, they could probably use... Just in case Damian, like... He's still on his contract, but... Just yeah. in case something happens where Damian isn't there, you you wish you could have a point guard right here, but, but there's just nothing I you can do. I think they'll take no clown, like... Because they already got Brandon Miller. I think, since they have Jeremy Grant, I think they take Tariq Whitehead. Hmm. It's an interesting thing. He's they way down the Brandon board on Miller. here. Yeah, yeah, but he's like a small forward or power I just don't forward. see Noah Clownley falling that late. Yeah. I don't either, but also I don't see him going to... The Blazers. Like, yeah. if they got Jeremy Grant. All right, we're going to Rick then. Or, <laughs> yeah, to Rick. Yeah. I think, if it's going to draft him. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got Tariq Whitehead going to the Blazers. That's actually an interesting pick. And then Ooh. we got the Kings. The Kings could take Noah Cloudley, or actually. Or even Leonard Miller. Leonard Miller, but I just, no Cloudly, I don't think he'd go another pick. Uh, yeah. I just don't think we can allow that to happen. 
Mm. I don't know. I kind of see him going right here. And, uh, all right. I do see. I just don't see Noah Conley really going right here. No. I don't see him falling this far, but I don't see him going to the Kings. Yeah. I mean, maybe they go for more of a Bride Sensabaugh. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Or Bryce. Yeah, Bryce Sensabaugh. I don't know. I feel like they probably would take small forward here. I would think Leonard Miller. He's a pretty good player. I think Br- Bryce Sensabaugh. Really? Yep. All right. That's cool. Yeah, Leonard. Oh, Leonard's good, too. It's hard to know. <laughs> yeah. No it's... one really knows. No yeah, one knows. No one... Even the professional people don't know what's happening in this draft. Mm. Okay, Where I could actually see Noah Clowney yeah, going Yeah, I could this see team. Noah Clowney go here. Like, Brandon Clark is, like, their best power forward. And then Dylan Brooks is leaving, which would be a good Leonard Miller. Yeah. But I think this is the place that Noah Clowney yeah, actually does Noah go. Yeah, Noah Clowney goes here. Since we passed up on so many other teams. But he fits. He, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're back to the Pacers again, who they have Asir Thompson. I think that's how you say his name anyways. Yeah. They have him on the roster. And I don't really know here because the Pacers are all sorts of weird. Yeah. But I kind of see them going with probably more of like a shooting guard. Like Colby Jones or Brandon, whatever, I'm not even going to say it. Yeah. I could see them going with either of those shooting guards. Yeah. I see him going with Brandon. I'm not going to say it. (laughs) (laughs) Just because he's taller. I mean, they could probably even use a small forward. They got Benedict, which is good. Yeah. But I think it's probably actually time for Leonard Miller to go. But maybe just not this team. Yeah, this team. I think they would go with Brandon. All right. I guess this is Ridge's pick. Brandon, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, whatever. <laughs> and then we got back to the Hornets, who have Scoot Henderson now paired with Lamelo Ball. Mm-hmm. That is really interesting. And Kelly they Gibbard. have a shooting guard, so. They, but they could use Leonard Miller on this one. Yeah, they could. I mean, they have lots of s- small forwards. They could but use Oliver too. Because they don't, they have PJ Washington or whatever. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of see Oliver going here, even though it's probably yeah. an underrated pick. But I do see Oliver going here. So, but he, yeah, and you see Oliver going here. So let's just pick him. All right. It's probably a little, just a little off, but yeah. it's pretty close. So. Oh, maybe we have the Jazz selecting Leonard Miller. I don't know, dude. That actually wouldn't be... Mm. Let's see. I I still haven't seen Gigi Jackson. So I'm starting to wonder, like, is he... Like, we haven't drafted him. Oh, no. And I like Gigi Jackson a lot. Or at least I've heard a lot of good things. I'm not... A professional on this? I personally would think they would go Leonard Miller if he even falls as far. Yeah, I'm just trying to find Gigi Jackson at least. Personally, I really think they'll go Leonard Miller, but I don't think he'll fall that far. Yeah. Even though this is our mock draft. Yeah, and let's we have did it. Let's have Leonard Miller. I mean, if he happens to be here at twenty eight. That. Then that's who the Jazz would select, I'm thinking. But I'm just not sure that that's going to happen. That he's and they might fall. even trade up, is what rumors are. Some yeah, rumors are. who knows? So. Yeah, they have a few rumors about that since they have three of their first-round picks maybe trading up from that 
ninth pick in the draft because oh, yeah. it wasn't great. But, yeah. So we're back yeah. to the Pacers again, weirdly enough. <laughs> and I guess we go... I don't even know here, honestly. When it gets this high in the draft, I don't really even know. Because we're at the 29th pick, which is close to the last pick of the draft. Yeah. But there is one thing. I do not see Colby Jones falling out to the second round. I don't. But. I'm also not saying he's going here, but I also don't see him falling. Thank you. But I kind of could see him going here, too, because all they got is Buddy Hield. Yeah. Yeah, that's all they have is Buddy Hield. I do see him going here. All right. I think he I think he fits fairly good. Oh, yeah. So we had him 30th on a... Yeah, thing. he's a solid player, though. Oh, yeah. And then maybe even agree with it. And Wait, so we're at the... Okay. We're at the last pick in the draft. Clippers. Mm-hmm. Or isn't there 32? No, this is the NBA. Oh, yeah, my bad, guys. <laughs> um, Is there, like, a search thing so I can find Gigi? Because we're only going to do the first round, but I'm just wondering where he him. is. Okay. All right, so we got... I mean, Gregory Jackson. <laughs> the Clippers. So... I don't really think they have the... I guess they do have some good centers. I don't think they have the greatest shooting guards either. There is Terquavion Smith. Terquavion Johnson. All right. (laughs) Um, I think we... Yeah, Terquavion could go right now. Yeah, I think so, too. I have 32 on here, but it's not actually 32. Yeah. I was going to delete it, but I'm just like, I'm just going to keep it there just because. Yeah. So, our thing says something about James Najee I was looking. And then when I looked at him, I started to wonder, like, how far down do they have him? Like... I think we already drafted him. James Najee? Did we? Mm-hmm. Huh. Who did he go to then? <laughs> I don't know. Um. But I think I just, well, back to this pick, I think they go to Quavion. Yeah, I could also see, like, I saw, like, this guy, who I have as 31, his city something. <laughs> I don't even think Cisco. I said the first one right. And then Jalen Wilson's even interesting. Some of these are actually kind of interesting, like Kobe Brown and stuff. Those that will I, be one of the first that I could see round. that I could see like them getting slept on. Yeah, I think they'll be one of the first of the first round or the second round. Sorry, guys, but I do see Turquavion or whatever. All right, yeah. I guess we're doing him. Six All right, that's the last pick. So here we got the results of our mock draft. We have Victor, obviously, and we got Scoop, Brandon Miller to Portland, Ammon, Ammon. and then we got Cam Whitmore, Jairus Walker, Asir Thompson, which I actually see him fitting pretty good on the Pacers, Anthony Black, barely missing the Jazz, sadly, but I just think that's where he's going to go. We got Taylor Hendricks, Grady Dick, Kobe Bufkin. Nick Smith Jr., Kaysen Wallace, which I think that's a pick early, but I don't know. I could be wrong on that. And then we got 14, Derek Lively, but he won't actually be going to the Pelicans because, you know, because of the trade. Yeah. So he'll probably be going to the Trailblazers. Brandon Miller won't be going either, right? To the Blazers? Mm Mm-mm. Brandon Miller will be traded to the Pelicans. Yeah. And it'll be a swap for Brandon Ingram and Brandon Miller, basically. And that's what I've heard anyways. And then we got Keontae George at 15, which I think that's a solid pick. Could have seen him going earlier. I think we might have to move our notes over here. Oh, yeah. 
And then we got Jalen Hood, 16, to the Jazz. I actually like that. They need a PG. So, and then Jet Howard to the Lakers. I actually see that, too. Jordan Hawkins, Chris Murray to the Warriors. That's interesting, but I like it. And then we got Belial to the Rockets. Ryan Rupert, Nets, James Najee. I was looking for him, but yes, he's right there. I'm actually surprised we took him that early, but I like him on the Nets. That's not bad. Derek Whitehead, Bryce Sensabaugh, Noah Clownley, Brandon, whatever the heck. Oliver, not going to say that one either. <laughs> Leonard Miller. Miller. If he fell that far, that would be incredible. For the yeah. Players. He would he would come in for the Jazz, and he would be so good, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to be one of the ones that's underrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Colby Jones. I just could not see him falling to the second. And then Terquavion, that's an interesting pick. And I'm not sure he's going to be in the first round, but it's possible. No one really knows what's happening in this yeah. draft. So here's here's our take on it, like I said. And I guess that's it. I mean, this was your sports, boys. Over, Over and, and out. out.